Okay guys, so let's get going with our legs. Okay, so from here, we're gonna push our skeleton up a bit. And to get started with those legs again, so I'm gonna take up my finger as a measurement and I'm gonna go about that length. So halfway down my finger, I'm gonna bend this down. So again, I'm gonna check it, okay, right here. I'm gonna bend it down and leave it like a paper clip. So something like that. And then from here, I'm gonna go down, so my full finger to about right there, that's where I'm gonna put my knee and we're gonna do a loop-de-loop. -loop. So again, twist, loop, and pull. Okay, so we have our little loop-de-loop -loop there. So it's gonna be where my leg connects on there after I'm done with it. Now I have my loop-de-loop, -loop. remember that's where we're gonna be so my thigh goes down to my knees. My knee has to go down to my ankles, okay? And your ankle's gonna be a little bit lower, so about half, half here. So I'm gonna pull this up so I can see how long. Okay, so right there, I'm going to put my finger down and again, create that loop-de-loop, -loop. pull back, okay? So now I have my knee loop-de-loop. -loop. I have my ankle loop-de-loop, -loop, which I'm actually gonna push down. It's gonna become the back end of my foot. And then you have this big piece of wire and we're going to bend it, bend it, bend it to a teardrop shape and that's gonna become our foot, okay? So it's gonna be the back of our foot right here the front of our foot, so it's gonna be able to step down like that, okay? And that can be hooked on to here. And again, if you are strong, you can twirl it around here so that it stays really stable. If that's too difficult for you, all you have to do is twist it, okay? And if it's really, really hard, you can ask one of your table mates that looks like they know what they're doing and they're really good at this to help you out so that you can twist it on. So twist, twist, twist. Done, okay. So I'm looking how my legs are going. Good, and my foot is pointed that way. So I guess my person is turned around. So let's turn this skeleton around. There we go. Okay, now that foot is facing me. Once you have one done, you can go ahead and follow those same instructions to create your second foot.